All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 23. All right. So with type equals password, we can use the pattern attribute to define a regular expression that the password must match to be considered valid. All right. I'm sure you <laughs> I'm sure you don't know what this is at all. Well, whatever. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, add word. So now we're going to add a pattern attribute with the password input element to require the input match this right here, something you've totally never seen before. Uh, the above is a regular expression which matches eight or more lowercase letters or the digits zero through five. Oh, does it? And then we're going to remove the min length attribute and try it out. Well, basically, look, we're, it's going to be way after uh, responsive web design before we go through any regex. And that's what we call it, regex. But uh, we'll get you'll definitely get your fill once you get to the JavaScript section. Anyway, that being said, let's go over to the pattern attribute while we're at it. Uh, pattern attribute HTML like that. And you can see there's actually a lot more to the definition than just whatever they wrote. So the pattern attribute, what's going on here? Get out of here. So the pattern attribute specifies a regular expression that the input elements value is checked against on form submission. So note the pattern attribute works with the following input types, text, date, search, URL, telephone numbers, email, and a password. Uh, so we can use the global title attribute to describe the pattern to help the user. Uh, it would be cool if we went over that, but I don't know what that means. Uh, and also we can learn more about regex in the JavaScript tutorial. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that uh, at some other point. All right. So what we're going to do here is we'll take this uh, pattern uh, with the regex right here, and then we'll come over here and we're putting this inside password. So we'll come down to the password right after acquired, drop it off thusly, right? So for the regex, let's go over this. And you don't need to really understand too much, but this thing right here, it's called a... Um, Oh, why didn't I remember this? <laughs> anyway, maybe I'll remember. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to do A through Z, all right, and then we're going to have zero through five, all right. So that's what it's going to match uh, with the capture group. And then after that, when we have uh, these curly braces, it specifies the lengths, and the minimum length is eight. And then we have a comma. And then when you have nothing after the comma, it just goes up to infinity. Why can't I remember what this is called? Oh, I got to look. Hold on. Regex. Regex JavaScript. Boom. I have to remember. Sorry, guys. It is called. Uh, what's it called? Character class. Nope. Yes, character class, this thing right here. It's a character class. All right. So basically, this thing is a character class, and the characters are A through Z, 0 through 5. That's what they're matching. Uh, we could do 0 through 9, and it would do all the numbers. But that's basically how, that, how it looks up that. And then, like I said before, this is from 8 to infinity. All right. So let's check the code. Oh, nope. We got to uh, delete the min length since we don't need that anymore either. So let's get rid of that. Boom. Check the code one more time. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 24 and we'll see you next time.